Mm-hmm. Hey, folks, wake on, welcome back to the uh, championship game of the, the Kentucky High School Athletic Association Mingi Beef Jerky Sweet 16 Girls Basketball Tournament. With us tonight are the runners-up, the, Marac- the uh, McCracken County Lady Mustangs, Coach Scott Stout, Sibbles. Sibbles, I'm sorry, and all tournament team players, Destiny Thomas, Caroline Sibbles, and Claire Johnson. Coach, can you give us some comments on tonight's game? Uh, we're very blessed and honored to be a part of this tournament. It's the best tournament in the in the country. Um, I want to congratulate Sacred Heart for an incredible, incredible season and also a great game. Uh, they shot the lights out. I mean – we tried every defense we, that we possibly had in our in our playbook, and they just made shots. Lose by 15, a shot, what, about, about 80%? 71. I mean, they could be the Lakers tonight probably, shooting, shooting that percentage. Um, but our kids still fought. Um, but we just couldn't make some key, key stops. Uh, they just kept, kept making shots. We had to <laughs> – we felt like if we, if we can get it below 10, maybe at the end of the third, we had a chance, but um, it's got away from us too, too quick. Uh, but that's them making, making great plays. I mean, you gotta, you gotta just tip your hat and say, congratulations and great job. But I um, want to commend these, these three kids up here at the table. They had a tremendous uh, career. Uh, CJ will be back next year, but Caroline and Desi had a, had an incredible uh, athletic career. Desi's going to Murray State. She's going to Shorter University. Um, so it's they've had a, a great run. I mean, 35 and 3 is nothing to be ashamed of. So um, I want to commend our administration, our school. Um, but our, our team came together at the right time. We played consistent. We got up here and uh, won three out of four games. So we're, we're very, very proud. Questions? Coach, there, I thought the first quarter when they took control of their, their defensive pressure on your guards, what did you see there? And I think Trinity had four or five steals there in that first quarter. Uh, they they were just more physical than we were. I mean, we just, you know, they could have maybe been some fouls there, but they were just more physical than we were uh, at the very beginning. We, you know, we got off to a really good start there, and then they turned the pressure up. We just couldn't um, make plays and – and then from there on, it was just uh, trying to, you know, just probably catch up. But you know, they're they're a team that that really hedges out defensively and uses their hands a lot. So, you know, up here they, they, they let you play. So we didn't do a very good job there in that little run there of doing that, and went from you know being up what four or five, then we're down what ten or twelve. So we had to fight back from that point. So it was difficult. All season long, y'all have been so good offensively. Um, what was it that they were doing that prevented you guys from getting in rhythm like you had kind of in the fourth quarter, uh, a little bit hitting some threes, but you could have done that earlier? Well, with a team like Sacred Heart, you got to play north and south. You can't play east and west. And um, we didn't do a good job of getting down downhill in some of our offensive sets. Uh, when we did, we got we, – we either got fouled or we you know, got a good shot. So – but they were just pushing us to the sideline and, you know, out of our comfort zone. And we didn't do a very good job of handling that. But um, our kids fought. They We tried to put them in different scenarios, quick screens and rolls, pops, and so on, you know, that, that way. So, um, but again, we just didn't make enough shots to win the game. Coach, obviously not the outcome you wanted, but you mentioned yesterday the history that your team has made. Just talk about this team specifically and what they're able to accomplish. I mean, to get here last year was was great. You know, we have probably should have, you know, done some things differently, but we just kind of had a different mindset coming up here, getting back here. Um, I felt <laughs> like we, we had a ch- chance to go deep in this tournament, and we did. Um but you know you you got to make plays. You got to make shots up here. You know you got to make shots, and we just didn't make enough shots tonight. But in the previous games, we did uh, to get to this point. So you know we won our first game. That was that was history made. We won day number two, history made. Won today, history made. So we we've done some history making moments um, this year. It's thirty five wins is the most in school history. 
So don't know if that will ever be topped for a while. So we're, we're a very proud program, very proud team. And, um, you know, we have a lot of accomplishments individually. We had a lot of kids score a thousand points this year. Uh, Buchanan scored over a thousand points this, you know, tonight. So we've, we've got a 2,500 point score. We got three more Caroline and Claire and, and Mickey. So we had four 1000 point scores on our team. So, um, nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, we had nothing to lose. I mean, we weren't afraid to play them. They just made plays. When you when you shoot seventy one percent for the game, it's 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 hard to beat that type of team. I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah, for the girls, uh, I know disappointment right now. But how long do you think it's going to be before it sinks in what you were able to accomplish this season, especially getting to this point when not many people from the first region get to here. Um, even though we're hurt right now, we're still so proud of ourselves. Um, I think the tears are more of us like not being able to play with each other ever again, or instead of like the losing aspect of it. Yeah, we lost, but we did give it all we got to get to this point, And we're proud of ourselves for that. We're also proud of our season that we've had. I mean, our record was 35 and three. That's like something you don't see all the time. So we're still so proud of ourselves and we'll forever just keep our heads up on that. I mean, I'm really proud of my team. This year is like the best probably in school history, and I'm really glad to be a part of it and be with these girls. I'm going to miss them a whole lot, but these tears are because I'm going to miss them, and I'm really proud of them being able to get to play with them. Um, Like they said, I think most of these tears just because that we have such a good team chemistry going on and just – that we're not be able to play with these girls is just those are what the tears are. And I think we're all going to remember this season for the rest of our lives because we've made history at our school. Um, kind of along those same, same lines, um, you know, fourth quarter, you're down a little bit there. Um, still fighting for rebounds. Uh, went on an 11 or 13 run, something like that. What does that say about the character of the team? Um, it really shows that we can really like, uh, play until the buzzer, um, give it all we got while we're on the floor. We can rest later. We were just telling each other all throughout the week, um, just get through these 32 minutes, you can rest later. Get through these eight minutes, you can rest later. So we just give it all we got while we're on the floor, and we can rest later. And on that note, congratulations. Thank you. And have we're on a great year, and Thank have you. safe travels home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget the trophy, by the way. Oh, I they did everything. We have the HSAA. 2023 Mingi Beef Jerky Girls Sweet 16 winners, the Sacred Heart Valkyries, Donna Moore, student athletes, Reagan Bender, Trinity Ralston, and Zakiah Johnson. Coach? Uh, I just want to um, say that I'm very blessed to um, get to work every day with um, these girls. Um, they Every day is fun. They work hard. Um, they listen. Uh, they do the right things on and off the court. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm so excited we won, but I'm sad it's over too, um, you know, because uh, just, just going to the gym with these girls and my coaching staff um, to be together every day is um, just a blessing. And I thought, like, we came out, you know, we got down 5 nothing, and um, – we haven't, I don't think we started off well in any game this, this whole tournament. And, uh, and then, you know, we went on like a 17 to two run and, and we really started to play, they relaxed and they started to play the way, um, the way we thought we could and, and the way we wanted to play up here. So, um, I don't know that, I mean, Angelina Paleo got her thousand point. I don't know too many teams that have a, a starting five that have four girls that um, have scored a thousand points at Sacred Heart. So um, I think that just shows you the way we, we care about each other with the way we share the basketball and, and, um, and it's just fun. It's fun to coach. Thank you.
Donna Scott said when he heard you all shot 71% tonight that you all could have beaten the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we shot that. Well, wow. I mean, you know, 25 assists on 27 makes, mm-hmm. just your offensive efficiency, if you can comment on that. Yeah, you know, they played. We knew they were going to come in and play some zone, and um, we sat back at the hotel today, and, um, you know, we rested, and then we we watched some film of, of their zone, and we felt like we had some really good ways that we could attack it and attack it through the middle and um, some high-low. And, um, you know, obviously when you have Z and Reagan that can knock it down the outside shots um, like they did today, um, you know, and, and really, like, I'm not surprised about the assist because that's kind of who we are. We, we, you know, we share the ball and get the ball to the open person. <laughs> I had no idea we shot that. For the game, we shot someone. Wow, I had no idea. Uh, this is where coach or players. Um, they say the only hard, the only harder thing to do in sports than winning a championship is repeating, or in this case, repeating. Um, how are you able to stay focused on the ultimate goal throughout the years with pressure and anything else? Um. Well, this season, you know, we. We played for our senior, like our only senior. So um, every game we came out and we knew what we wanted just for her, you know, to go out winning three in a row for her. So we stay focused this year. Hey, I'm just kind of wondering your emotions being the only senior on this team and um, them saying they played for you. And what's that mean to you? And what's it mean to you to go out a, a, a three time champion? It just means that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, you're fine. It just means that I have a family that has my back no matter what. Can you comment on that first quarter? I think you had five there. Yeah. So on my end, I usually just turn up on defense when I bring the energy and everything else comes like the offense you've seen as the game went on. We progress with our offense, but it starts with defense. Final questions, comments? Well, you won three in a row. I mean, what's this team's focus for next year? Come on. I don't know. You know, you never know what tomorrow brings. So we're going to um, we're gonna enjoy this for sure. And, um, you know, it, it it's I, I've, I've had enough disappointment in all my coaching, you know, where we've had really good teams and something happens. I mean, you know, you um, – so it it is special to win a championship and I'm not I'm not even thinking about next year. We're just gonna enjoy this one for a while. See back to back sweet sixteen MVPs. People are already saying, can she do it four times? <laughs> not to put any pressure on you, but <laughs> well, I mean I I believe I can do it four times, but I mean as long as we're winning, I don't care what or what I get. Final questions, comments? Hey, coach, ladies, congratulations. Thank You're the champions. You. Thank you to everybody for all the uh, media and all your time this week. It's It's been amazing. It's been a great journey. So thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.